Gosh, I feel like it's been forever since I've done a What's Sold on eBay video. Doesn't it feel that way? What's going on, everybody? It is Brendan. The channel is Dad Planet, and you are watching The One Man Show. I am The One Man Show because I'm the only employee in my business, right? I do all the thrifting, sourcing, shipping, blah, 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 everything else in between. But the channel is Dad Planet because this is kind of my experiment in working for myself full time while also trying to be as present as I can at home with my children while they are young. And so I take you along for the ride. We go thrifting. I show you what I buy. Um, and these videos are uh, important because it shows you what I sold. So I do two what sold on eBay videos per month and I take 15 of like the highest priced items that I sold that uh, two week period or the most exciting for whatever reason. And I feature them in hopes that you will also find these items when you are out thrifting at estate sales, garage sales, or wherever it is you do your sourcing. So I give you a chance to look under the hood. We talk numbers. You can see exactly what I did in the two week period, how much time I spent. And then the last one I do in the month, I show you what my cost of goods were for the month because I think transparency is important for those that have YouTube channels that also sell uh, just to prove to you that I am actually also selling these items. So we're going to take a look at 15 items that I sold in that two week period, starting from the 1st of September through the 15th. And then towards the end of the video, I'm going to show you something a little bit um, unfortunate. I don't want to give it away. Let's just get into it. All right, the first through the 15th, I did just over 5,100 in gross sales, just under 3,500 in net. My selling cost at 27%. Average sales price down a little bit, and then quantity sold down. I don't know if you'd call that considerably, and this is all relative to what I did last year in September. I had a much better September, at least a much better start last year than I did this year. I only worked maybe 23, 24 hours as an average these two weeks. I said I would be bulking it up. I just haven't been able to find the time to do that. So all of those things probably contributing to me not doing as well as I was last year, this September, but whatever it is, what it is. 15 more items. These are the most exciting ones. Let's take a look at them now. It makes perfect sense that this sold when it did, because I think right around this time of year, a lot of people try to convert these and turn them into haunted houses. They paint them up, add different types of accessories. So it's obviously a Fisher Price loving family, Victorian grand mansion, the pink one. Now this one took me a year and a half to sell. The only reason it took me a year and a half to sell is because there's a glut of these on the market right now. And so I was unwilling to reduce my price and you'll see a lot of them selling in the 50, 60, $70 range now. So when the market's flooded, price has to come down. I kept mine and held mine and finally did get the hundred dollars. So this buyer is 174.15. They paid like 60 or so dollars in shipping, which is crazy, but that's the type of buyer that I'm trying to attract. Somebody that's not afraid to pay the high price, pay the high shipping cost. They see a reputable seller and the deal is done. So, um, it only cost me $5, but again, a year and a half takes me a, that took me a little bit longer than normal. And I sell two or three of these every year. I'll consider reducing my price maybe in the future, but maybe not. It just goes to show you if you're willing to wait a little bit, you can get your price. Good sale. Next one is a Dyson DC 26 vacuum cleaner. This is another great sale. $149 is the price I got for this one. The buyer is $193.98 all in. It cost me $15. I think I bought this at a at a thrift store. I don't quite remember. It could have been a garage sale, but I'm pretty sure it was a thrift store. Um, it only took one month to sell. I had video in my description to reassure the buyer that it was working properly. And another great sale. I love picking these up. This was actually very easy to break down and ship. So, you know, you could take the thing apart in like four parts and make shipping really compact. So this was another awesome sale too. Next one is a KitchenAid waffle maker. The model number on this one is KPWB100. I think it was the only one at the time that had this listed. And so comps were like around the 150 to 170 range. And this one sold for 144.49. The buyer is 282.82 all in because this did go overseas. So they paid a hefty sum in customs fees. Uh, it only cost me $19.99 and it only took one week to sell. These sell very, very well. So you can get them for 20, 30 bucks, pick it up because if it's uh, in proper working condition, it's, a, it's almost a guaranteed sale. All right, if you are a follower of my bin sourcing videos, you saw me source this in one of those videos. The brand is Duck Feet, and uh, this is just a classic desert chukka. When I was looking up the size comparisons on their website, um, they don't make a size 39 for, for men. It starts, I believe, at 40 for men, so that made this a woman's shoe. I was offering this at a very fair price of $120, considering that they're like $240, $250 if you wanted to buy them brand new. Uh, it only took one day to sell. So this buyer is $142.28 all in. They cost me $6 because they were a little bit heavy, but you know, buying by the pound at the bins, a buck eighty-nine. We're gonna say these were three pounds, so about six dollars is what I paid for these. But this is a great brand and a great sale. 
I've been backing off of printers for a while now just because they're big and bulky and I'm getting lazy with respect to testing them. I tested this one thoroughly and I'm amazed because it sat in my office for months before I actually got it listed. But once I fired the thing up, plugged it in and did a test print, it printed beautifully. So uh, perfect working condition. I paid $13 for it and I sold it for $101.99. This buyer is $133.68 all in and it only took me three weeks to sell. It was a fast seller. Not real familiar with what this is. So it's a music stream, it's a, a Wi Fi music streaming amplifier from Polk Audio. There were great comps on it, so I knew to pick it up. Uh, I had it listed for 125 I believe, and I took an offer of 106.24. This buyer is 125.07 all in. Uh, it only cost me $6 to purchase, and it only took three weeks to sell. So there are very few of these on the market right now. It seems like it's probably one of those harder to find items in the wild, but the sold comparables show that. Uh, it is still in demand. So at $106, only paying six, I'll take that all day long. Keep your eye out for it. It's very unassuming. It doesn't look like it's an expensive piece. So, you know, stores that get uh, mark up happy, if you will, would probably let this one slip. So keep your eye out for it. The Polk Audio Omni A1. No surprise, a Halloween item sold. This is a Hallmark metal candle holder. I had the tea lights in it and I sourced this. I maybe took four months to sell. Uh, I had it listed for 60 and I took an offer of $55. This buyer is $69.77 all in. It only cost me $5. And there were proven, recent, sold comparables that were in the $60 range for this item. But this would be another one that you could very easily just price at $20 to $30, where it's clear that the market previously is willing to pay $50, $60, even $70 for this exact item. So it pays to not just check the 90 days solds, but go into Terapeak and check the year solds as well, because that gives you um, much more sold data to work with. And I just based my pricing decision off of that. Great sale. Next brand, one of my favorites to try to pronounce, Fjallraven. Um, just a shoulder bag here. Raspberry color was like between pink and purple. It's the G1000 style. You always notice the little Arctic Fox as a logo. That's how you know you have Fjallraven. Uh, found this at the bins. I had it listed for 75. I took an offer of 63.74. This buyer is 78.53 all in, maybe $3, and it sold in three weeks. This was a fast seller. This was in one of my bin videos, so some of you might recognize this item. This was a fantastic find, and I am glad to see it go. All right, a set of four tie-down cleats. This was sourced at a Goodwill on a week where I could barely find anything. So this was a real godsend here, finding four of these together. I don't remember if they were a dollar, if they were $1.99 each. So at the low end, I paid four. At the high end, I paid eight, but I did get my full asking price of $100 to make this sale. So the buyer is $122.19 all in, only took four days to sell. Great comps on these. I'm surprised and I'm also very happy uh, for Google Lens because I wouldn't have known what they were without the help of that app. So this was another fantastic find. All right, True Religion, another bins find. This was an amazing find. In fact, I'm looking at the comparable solds. I'll put them on the screen for you in a second. I think I actually undersold this. So it's a trapper hat, aviator style, winter themed, very clean, which is what a lot of the items that I get at the Goodwill bins are. I think it's a misconception that everything that comes from there is dirty. Yes, you'll have to launder a lot. In fact, I do most of all of the shoes that I get, I have to throw through the washer. So this one took very little to touch up. It came extremely clean and I got my full asking price. So this buyer is $113.64 all in, a couple of dollars maybe, and it sold in two weeks. I think a little under two weeks. So a fast seller, but I think if you find something like this now, um, something similar, you can probably get and push this up to $150 pre-owned. This is a very in-demand item, especially with uh, the time we have coming up with fall and especially winter. So keep that in mind. If you find one and you're thinking about pricing them a little bit higher, I think it's probably okay. All right, next is just a Guinness lighted display sign. I had this for quite a while, so it took like a year and a half to sell. I had it listed for $100, and I'm not even sure why I priced it that way, just probably because I like to price on the higher end where I can. Guinness signs, lighted signs, they're popular. This style, you know, you may or may not find it in the wild, but if you can find a Guinness lighted sign, you probably have something, depending, of course, on what you pay. So I got this for $6, sold it for $85, and this buyer is $106.33 all in again. At a year and a half, I don't know, maybe it was my pictures, maybe it was my price, maybe it had to do with a little bit of both, but list and forget is a strategy I, I use a lot of the time and it just still continues to work for me. So I'm happy to take the 85 bucks. 
This little fella, on one hand, I'm happy to see it go. On the other hand, I'm sad to see it go because we used this in our Halloween decorations for years. This one took two years to sell. It's just a Harry and David ceramic cat Halloween cookie jar. There's nothing special about it, but another one that I just priced on the high end and we will use it and play around with it and whatever, if it sells, it sells great. And it finally did sell. So I had it listed for 100, took an offer of 85. This buyer is 102.34 all in, and uh, I think it cost me $5. It's been quite a while since I purchased it, so I might be off by a little bit, but five to 85, who wouldn't take that? No surprise here on this item, Vitamix 7500. Sourced this when I went to a grand opening of a bins location here in Ohio. Amazing that I found this at the bins. You know, that's just one of those once in a lifetime finds, I suppose, if you will. Only thing I left behind as I was re-watching my video is the tamper. I should have grabbed that, but this still sold for 255, so I'll take that. 289.02 is what the buyer is all in. We're gonna have to say this was maybe at the most 10 pounds, and I think it was a buck 50 that I paid, so let's call this $15 that I paid and it sold in under a month. So this was another um, pretty lucky find, if you ask me, because Vitamix blenders don't turn up at the bins that often, but it's the second high dollar amount blender that I've sold in the last couple of months. I sold a Blendtec one for, I think it was over a hundred dollars, but that was a fun, a really fun grand opening video. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it in the description. Diaclone is a company that was owned by Takara Toys and Hasbro right around 1984 purchased the rights or the licensing or maybe even the entire company. Um, from them and turn them into the Transformers line. So this is a very early Transformers, like pre-Hasbro Transformer, and it is a triple changer. It turns into like a robot, a jet, and a tank. Now it was missing like one of the tank dome parts. If I had that part, I would probably have gotten double for it. And if I had the box for everything, I probably would have gotten quadruple for that because the prices for these very early Transformers are kind of insane. So I took $85 as an offer for this one. I'm happy to take that, especially with the missing part. And this buyer is 10106 all in. It only cost me a couple of dollars at a church sale and it took four months to sell. So this is a little bit of an exciting find for me, even though it wasn't officially Transformers because that is one of the hardest brands, those like first generation 1984, 1985 Hasbro Transformers. It's the, some of the hardest stuff to source, especially if you do the majority of it, like I do with the bins or thrift stores, they just don't turn up. That and He-Man, really um, items that I really never find inside stores. So going to a church sale and seeing this item was really exciting. So a very fun church sale and a great find. Last one here is a Coca-Cola lava lamp. These things just do not turn up that often. So this was brand new in the box. I paid $50 on Facebook Marketplace. I had it listed for 300 and it sat for a little while, but I finally eventually did take an offer of 200. And this buyer is 234.95 all in. It took 10 months to sell. So in the grand scheme of things, it wasn't a ton of time, especially with how highly priced I had it because it was brand new in an open box, but another fantastic sale, 15 more in the books. I hope you enjoyed those. What you are looking at here is a lighted ceramic candy corn Halloween tree. I know it's hard to believe. I know it doesn't look like that, uh, but it uh, but it is. Yeah, so I sold a very beautiful piece ceramic tree. It was yellow and red and orange and white. Very, I actually had it in one of my videos because um, I had it set up in my house before I had it sold. But the lady made a return request, said she just didn't like it. And long story short, this is what I was sent back. So, um, yeah, this is a uh, this is a candy corn tree. If you've never seen one before, unfortunately, scams are a part of this business. I don't think you should ever settle for them or get used to them. Um, there are certain ways to try to fight this, but I think I'm past the window at this point, which is a little bit disappointing, and that's probably my own fault for trusting that what I was getting back was exactly what I sent this person. But um, yeah, every now and then you'll you'll run across this and it's kind of terrible. It's also a little bit hilarious, just depending on how you handle the situation. But yeah, that was a really nice tree. And you know what? I, uh, I want that darn thing back. Hope you enjoyed that. As always, Brendan here, Dad Planet, The One Man Show. Hit that like button if you liked what you saw or you learned something today. And then always consider becoming a member of the Dad Planet family by subscribing and hitting the bell notification icon so that you know every single time I upload a video to YouTube. That's it. That's all I got for you today. Boloplanet.com if you need wholesale inventory. We are slowly approaching 10,000 subscribers. I thank each and every one of you, and we will see you in the next video.